Hello everyone, my name is Betty Dubois and welcome to Butterfly Whispers Pick a Card Reading. If you like the reading, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of the future videos. I hope that you enjoy today's reading. Hey everyone, this is a Pick a Card Reading. The Pick a Card Reading today you have in front of you piles 1, 2 and 3. These are all pre-shuffled. This reading's about relationships and your person at the moment. What's their feelings towards you? Um, now this could be someone that you've been in a long relationship with. It could be someone that you've just met. Or it could be someone that you've got your eye on. So let's have a look at what the feelings are from this person. Like what, what's going to transpire. We're going to have a look at some tarots. Um, we might throw a few um, Lenormand cards on to the thing and also we have the normal poker deck as usual so I'll be I've pre-shuffled them ready to go to get some more information so pause the video if you need to see which way you're drawn are you selecting one two or three now I have had some people contact me and tell me that when I do these pick a card readings uh, they might have three people in mind they want to know what's going on there uh, one might be their partner one might be their child uh, one might be someone they work with um, so they want to know their current feelings but this is generally speaking it is a relationship reading as in romantic relationship reading but we might actually get business information we might get health information financial information so we'll see what comes out um, good luck guys and I hope this uh, helps you so moving right along we're going to start with pile number one we'll just move pile number two and three out of the way so let's have a look with what's left in this pile I'm just going to choose three cards you your person and the sort of current er energies around it now it could be reversed and do remember this is a general reading so it's not going to fit everybody um, okay that one wants to come out well straight away ace of cups so this person is or you there's a lot of love here this is making a new start it could be a new beginning um, if you're in a long-term relationship um, it could be a new beginning between the two of you. Maybe you've had some rocky ground. I am feeling something to do with intuitively I'm picking up on that you may have had some problems in the past. Um, for those of you in a new relationship, this is pretty good stuff. Um, off to a good start here. Okay, so what else do we have for pile number one? What is the current feelings from this person? What's between them? Okay, it doesn't look like anything else wants to jump out, so we'll just stop. Oh, as I just said, this is the Three of Swords. So either you or your person, there has been a, there's a mending of a broken heart here. So maybe you're starting something new with somebody who's just gone through something, or maybe they've been going through it for some time. But there's a mending of a, a broken heart going on here. If it was this way, this is heartbreak, betrayal, um, pretty much, yeah, feeling at your worst with a relationship. But this is telling me it's something that already happened and there's healing going on at the moment. So I keep picking up that this possibly is for some of you out there, you've been in a relationship with this person um, maybe for some time. And there's something that's trying to mend from the past. So let's just get a bit more information about the relationship itself. So either this is you or this is you. So either your heart's overflowing with joy and love, ready to start, or your heart is the one that was broken and you're trying to mend, you're trying to trust again. Um, and maybe it's both of you as well. For those of you that are watching that are going for a new relationship, it looks like you're all steam ahead. You're ready to start. You're ready to get action. Um, but your person looks like they're still mending. They're still wounded from the past. So let's see the relationship itself. Yeah. Um, you or them were feeling trapped in a situation. Now, I'm not feeling that you're trapped in this relationship with each other. 
I feel that there were some sort of restrictions and maybe miscommunication. This Eight of Swords, it is reversed. So I feel like things that you thought were happening or they thought was happening or conversations that were going on, there was something going on, but it's not quite right. Um, it's sort of miscommunication here. That's what I'm picking up a lot here about miscommunication. I'm also feeling like there might be too many cooks in the broth, you know, too many cooks in the kitchen, so to speak. Too many people um, having something to say about this relationship, about it moving forward. Now, for some of you, unfortunately, this could represent that there has been a third party situation in the past. Um, and this would be where you're still feeling bruised, defensive, but you're starting to let your guard down. So let's just have a look. These are all pre-shuffled. So let's just get some more information. I'm going to do three cards for you. Three cards for them. And three cards for kind of like an outcome, but what the relationship looks like. Beautiful cards over here, guys. Okay, so for you, we have a baby girl energy. Now, the baby girl card can simply represent an actual child. Um, it can represent a pregnancy, but sometimes it can represent the inner child. Um, there's some sort of structure here. You're very structured with what you want in love and where you want to go in life. Um, we do have the shock and surprise card in your past. So something was a good shock and a bad shock. Uh, the Six of Spades is where someone disappointed you. It, it could be that you disappointed yourself. It could also be something like... Um, uh, it's, it's things like where someone just... They make mistakes. Uh, this can be a fiery, angry kind of energy as well, but it also can be a lot of negative thinking going on. So you have three lovely cards for you new start new beginnings very structured beginnings it, there's something from the past there's a wound in the past it, it shows up here in the tarot um, there is a definite wound that has gone on this is like do i trust don't i trust now it can be reversed what i'm reading here it can be that you made a mistake and you're trying to pick up the pieces you're trying to move forward um, you're trying to structure it all in the way that you want things um, but this person doesn't trust you um, 100% at the moment. Now, for their energy, we have the truth teller. We have someone that wants to rush in and make everything right. Now, we do have double sixes on the table, one red, one black. And if you watched previous readings of mine, it usually means truth and lies. Um, it usually means, you know, um, being open and frank and everything on the table, being secretive and holding back. So it's sort of like these are opposite ends of the spectrum. I, I feel that for some of you that chose pole number one, that you are very polar opposite. You and your person, it's sort of like salt and pepper, black and white. You use, you just have very, very different opinions. You may come from different backgrounds, different cultures, different beliefs. Now, we do have two kings on the table. For some of you watching this that chose pile number one, it could actually mean a same-sex relationship. Um, it doesn't have to. Uh, for others, because we do have this three of swords in the middle here, it could again come back to a third party situation. So it's a female watching this who is involved with two men. Um, so anyway, with your person, we have the truth teller. Time to get truth on the table, even if it hurts. Either you or them have to make forced changes. Forced changes about the people you associate with, um, maybe the job where you work, uh, maybe even where you live. Uh, there's some sort of major forced change going on around your person or around you for things to work. But this is showing responsibility with love. So this is something someone wants to do. They want to open their heart. They want to be truthful. They want everything out on the table. Um, so yeah, this, this is good, but it does look like it's been a forced change is there. Now, sometimes that can be things like maybe they used to go out with certain people and hang around till all hours and come home late. Um, they need to change that situation. Something needs major, major change going on. Now, as I said, the relationship itself is showing like feeling trapped, but it's not trapped. 
it's not trapped you know the answer you know what to do it could simply be gossip and stuff like that that you need to not listen to anymore this is making a new start again so we've got the ace of cups making a new start in love this is a new start in the mind so this is something it has to all start from scratch so if you have been in a relationship with this person it's hit some rocky ground possibly there's been some sort of betrayal of some sort or arguments it may involve children and parenting um, it may even be involving parents themselves um, this is where you're making a new start you you make this plan in your mind that this is how it's going to be now this is stability and long term this guy here doesn't have to be a guy it can be a girl uh, as i said could be a same-sex relationship this could be two women two men um, these two are having a discussion they're looking at each other and saying where do we go from here this person's being very logical this person's being very emotional like i said these people are polar opposites they want to be together they want something to happen um, now if we just look at the energies of the cards we do have a water sign and, and an air sign so you if you are the person and you're not either of those you could be choosing between these two people whichever choice you make you're making the right choice because this is the new beginnings this is building up but you are sitting there there is something you're holding on to from the past it could be a negative thing that you're holding on to from the past but you're also making a new decision for where you work where you live who you associate with all that sort of stuff um, this is all a new beginning over here so whatever this drama has been it looks like you're the sun's about to come out things are about to shine so let's just get a couple of Lenormand or Lenormand, whichever way you would like to pronounce that. Let's just see what they have to say. Now I do read intuitively. I do know the meanings of some of the cards, but I just read with what I feel and what I see. And I do like to, uh, to fiddle with numbers as well. So we have structure and learning. Um, we have responsibility cards on the table. We have changes and movement and spiritual cards on the table. And we have the brain, the head, uh, the thought pattern on the table. And then the kings, they're sort of like business people or people making firm decisions. So one's making a decision with the heart. One's making a decision with the head. So we have stormy clouds are about to be over. We have another six responsibility. We have another king on the table. So there's another male energy on the table, but there's also this, the king of um, action. He can be very, very, he or she can be very, very attractive, very alluring. And um, they can be very sexual, um, flirty. Then we have the serious one that thinks and wants action, wants it now, wants everything to happen yesterday. Then we have this other one that wants to, all the emotions, everything going right, everything smooth, and they want to be there to hold your hand. Okay, we have news coming in, and it's news of wishes coming true. It's wish fulfillment is on the table. Um, we also have just the news coming in. You might be waiting on a job. You might be waiting on a new house to live in. You might be waiting to travel somewhere. Um, one is your idea is getting set in motion. So things are about to start happening. Wow, we have the star. This is like wish upon a star, like all your dreams coming true. And we have the six of hearts down the bottom. This is new responsibilities. We have yet again another six on the table. So we have two lots of six of hearts. That's reminiscing over the past. Um, it's, it's good responsibilities. It looks like the future of this relationship, even though it may have got very, very rocky. Um, it just looks like, oh, and I do have to say to some of you, some of you may have felt like you were ghosted by this person or you've been trying to have communication that hasn't been happening. It looks like it's all going to turn around. But for some of you, I'm feeling like this is a new person coming in. There's some new person coming in because this is a very different person over here. Um, we do have a water sign. We've got a lot of water sign energy on the table and a lot of air signs on the table. Um, but this is follow your dreams, dreams coming true, wishes coming true, all this sort of stuff. So we will just get an oracle message on the table and then we are finished pile number one. So good luck pile number one. Your energy and your oracle card is being in the right place at the right time. We've got divine timing for um, pile number one. And see that we've got the guy with the pen in his hand, or it could be a woman. Um, they're signing on the dotted line. They're signing like whatever it is they want to do. 
Um, it's not an actual word. I'm, I'm just having a closer look at it to see if it makes sense. It's not an actual word unless it's written in another language. Um, there's dragonflies on here. They're lucky. They're um, setting sail. They're flapping about. And there's the two dragonflies with the two sets of wings. So it's sort of like the two people coming together. But they're going on different journeys, but they're coming together. Um, and then we have the person sort of all dressed up, ready to perform and have a good time, but she's standing right in front of the clock. So it's all about the timing with this relationship, picking your words and picking your battles at the right time. Um, I just think for some of you, it's waiting. You're waiting. You're waiting for the right time. You're waiting for things to be all good, but it does look like it's good over here. So for those of you, what's their feelings towards you or what's the feeling around the relationship? It does look like there's been some trying times. It does look like the truth's coming out, possibly through an email, a text message or even a photograph or something like that. There's some sort of truth revealed, but it works out for the better because even though you might get some stress by the truth, um, it's not as bad as you're thinking. And then this is on a new journey, new people, new beginnings, which is coming true. So that's a really nice reading for pile number one. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, please put comments below. Thumbs up would be great. And if you haven't subscribed, please, please subscribe. It really helps my channel. Okay, let's move on to pile number two. Okay, welcome everyone to pile number two. These have already been pre-shuffled, so we will get them on the table. Uh, actually, I might give them another shuffle because I shuffled them and divided them. So a quick shuffle for pile number two. If you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and the thumbs up if you like the video. I love hearing from everyone, so your comments are much appreciated. And let's have a look at what are the current feelings and that from my person, from your person. Okay, that one wants to jump out. You or them have felt like leaving the situation. You're feeling like it's done and it's dusted. You're walking away from emotions. It can be that you've shut your emotions down for a time and you're looking to a brighter future over here. You may be throwing yourself into work, family, friendships and everything and just not dealing with emotions. Now, it could be a past thing because this will be you, them, the relationship also, it's past, present, future. So we're going to read it, read it both ways. So being that that's come out, we'll get started. Okay, we've got two eights on the table. We've got a black eight and a red eight because this is um, wands, which is clubs, and this is hearts, which is um, cups, which is hearts. So we do have possible, there's been some sort of deception going on. Communication has stopped. This is upside down. This is sort of communication that's been going on. You may have felt hounded or they felt hounded. There may have been some sort of lie going on, some sort of gossip or something like that going on. What's the relationship look like? The hermit, withdrawal. So I feel whatever's going on with you and your person right now, what they're feeling, what they're thinking, um, it just looks like they need a break or you need a break. You both need to step back at the moment. So let's just get some more information on that. This is a Virgo energy over here and we do have fire on the table and water. So that might make sense to some of you out there. Eight might mean something. It might have happened eight years ago, eight months ago. Uh, it might have happened in August. They might be born in August. Um, if they are born in August, they'd have to be uh, yeah, towards the end of the month if they're a Virgo. So, in the beginning of the month, if they're a... Oh, no, that would be a Leo. Um, so let's have a look and get more information on this. So I feel that if this can all be reversed. This could be them and you. So it could be them that they chose to walk away from love. They chose to walk away from a situation and just not deal with it right now. And it could be you that's gone and shut the communication lines down. Um or you're sick of all the chatter going on. And this also could represent emails, text messages and things like that. So that might make some sense as well. But that hermit energy, normally the hermit, they sit in there and they have their star and their dream and their light of where they want to go, where they want to be. They're just taking time out at the moment. They've got the tree growing in the background. You know, they've got the roots planted in the cloud. Like they're sort of like, oh, you know, I don't know whether this is stable or not. 
Um, I'm not sure how many things are in the tree. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> There's eight pieces of fruit or balls or something on the tree. So eight is very prominent in pile number two's reading. Um, there's learning lessons and things there. There's like studying and working things out. I think your your relationship's about to come out the woodwork. I think it's about to come out. I, th I think people are talking, talking about something. So if you're not actually involved with this person you're looking into, looking into their thoughts and their feelings, it could be it's a working relationship and other people are starting to talk like they're noticing something. So let's just have a get some clarification from the poker deck and see if this makes more sense okay so we have three for you in the past wow wishes coming true commitment happiness love uh, this could be a new job um, it could be selling property buying property um, sealing the deal but You've got lots of happiness in that there. Now, if this was the normal poker deck card, this would be Eight of Hearts. It's not actually anyone walking away from something. It's actually celebrating and love and coming together. So take that how you will, because to me, it looks like there's been a big celebration in the past. There's been this massive love connection here in the past. There's also something that works well, something that um, it gets on track for them. For them, they're worried about the gossip. There is a three in the middle now. This is upright. This can be fertility. It can be pregnancy. It can just be a really solid friendship. So they may be feeling a solid friendship, but they're worried about the gossip. This is either jealousy or gossip here. Now we do have the flirty person on the table. This person is very flirty, very fun. Um, they need to grow up, basically, when I see this card. This can be someone that needs to grow up. Um, it also can simply represent travel, like wanting to go on a journey somewhere. It can be a worker as well, a business person. Um, this is uh, Earth energy, this one. Um, and we do have Virgo over here, with, which is an Earth sign. Um, what, what are the three Earth ones? I think it's Capricorn, Taurus and Virgo. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Um, but yeah, so they're a bit of a mix match. Um, it, it can be because it's a three and this upside down wands thing and this over here about leaving someone. It can be that the person you're interested in is actually involved with somebody else or you're involved with somebody else. And so it's sort of like a waiting game here at the moment. Um, the relationship itself, yeah, we have two females on the table and one male. So this may be a third party type thing. There's a discussion that needs to be had between these two. Now this one, she can turn out to be the ice queen. Now these can be male or female. Forget about what the images are on the cards. Um, these two people, uh, they're having words. They need to have a conversation. They, it might happen over drinks or food. Um, it might be a party. It might be a gathering of people. It could even be at work. I keep picking up that this is a working relationship. And there's too many in this story. There's two females and one male. So, And nobody's related to each other. So nobody's married to each other or um, brother, sister, anything like that. Yeah, there's some sort of conversation around this relationship, but I'm just seeing it as a friendship and a working relationship at the moment. I'm not seeing it as um, any kind of uh, proper relationship where two people are together. But yeah, there's a lot of talk going on. Um, but this woman here, she usually wants to rush in and be impulsive. Now, it can be a man. Uh, they want to rush in, be impulsive and have words with someone. And then this one's she's very cold and icy and she tells it like it is. But she's the truth teller. She's the truth teller. So they're both having a discussion about something and they're placed on top of the hermit. So it's not looking like a romantic, loving relationship. It's just looking like there might be a third party situation in this relationship. So let's get the Lenormand, Lenormand, Lenormand. Um, let's get them on for some clarification here. Clarification for you. 
we have anchoring yourself down this is you are where you want to be you know what you want you want happiness stability love you want the whole lot you want commitment you're worried this can be a worry or a fear about should I stay should I go or you're worried whether they're going to stay or whether they're going to go for them for them we have this need to grow up and we have this they're sick of the talking they're sick of the this can be an internet connection as well so for some of you it might be that you're wanting all of this but it's at a distance and it's not actually happening yeah we got someone that's the snake in the grass there we've got something sly going on there around them now either that's them that they're being a bit sly or that there's someone around them it does give off a female energy um, it's another card again um, hmm. okay <laughs> the relationship itself has a choice the choice looks like it's going to be the queen of diamonds um, queen of diamonds is the stability long term the forever person this one's committed to the journey this one over here sort of rushes in and wants everything happening. So it looks like the choice, if you're trying to choose between two separate people, um, the relationship itself is showing stability is the choice. That's where all the light is shining. Um, and there's two twos. There's two relationships here in this reading. There's two things there. So unfortunately, that doesn't really answer anything except for the Queen is showing up, the Queen of Diamonds. Now, a description of her, she would be blue-eyed, green-eyed, blonde hair, light brown hair. Whereas this other one here, she would have black hair, dark eyes. Um, they're, they're opposites, these, these two here. She or he, again, because it could be a female watching this and it's about two males. Um, I just think your person needs to this is can be a toxic situation they feel like they got involved with someone again this is the brown haired woman here the queen of clubs um i feel like this is a working situation here it's just a working situation there's gossip going on so let's just get a oracle to finish this one off i'm sorry this one hasn't seemed to help i i had high hopes when i seen this over here because this is happiness, love, stability, long-term commitment to two people. It does have the walking away, so maybe you're thinking of letting it go. Um, maybe you're worried they are. And as I said, this is a general reading, so it's not going to help everyone. It's not going to match with everyone's situation. But don't forget, too, that this could be them and this could be you. They might be declaring their love and long-term and worried you're going away and they want stability and rock solid. You here... Uh, worried about something jealous about something got some sort of toxic thing going on you're worried about all the talk and what's going on and then over here about the relationship it's almost like a need to step back but it's time to come out of the closet and make a decision so let's just see what you get um, someone needs to heal this relationship you've got here it needs healing it needs time um, maybe that's why the Queen of Diamonds is sitting here because it's at a very slow, long-term pace um, where things need to just heal. Um, it could be you yourself need healing from whatever's happened in the past. I'm not seeing a past thing. If we looked at this, as I said, this is past. So in the past, there was happiness, love, stability, rock solid. You, you knew where you were. You knew where you were going. Um, as I said, this could be family and everything too. It doesn't have to be the Eight of Cups where you're walking away. It's usually it's where they're walking away from all the sorrow and the sadness and everything. They're choosing something that makes them happy. Um, but yeah, it looks like if that's the past, then the current situation looks like there's a lot of talking going on. Um, there's something about a third person or a pregnancy or a, a family member or there's something else involved here some sort of toxicity now sometimes with healing this can actually represent like the doctor symbol the snake which could be medications needed or counseling's needed or something like that so we look at that so the healing is going on in the relationship i'm just going to pull one of these for past and one of these for future so in the past patience has been needed patience has been needed in the past we've got the patience card and the future is showing a new beginning new beginning so this thing's going to be all on new beginning 
So I feel that you or your person is going to make a choice. There's going to be discussion that needs to be had. And then he's going to make a new start. So whatever this is, it's not long term. This, this thing here is about to come about and turn around. So anyway, pile number two. As I said in the beginning of the video, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, hit that thumbs up subscribe button. Please uh, give the video a thumbs up, sorry, and um, I'll catch you on the next round. Moving right along to pile number three. Welcome to my channel if you're new here. Please hit the subscribe button. It really, really helps me to grow and build this channel up and bring these videos to you. Um, I hope you like this video. I hope you get some answers here. So we're going to look at three of these tarot. We're going to look at some poker deck cards, which I'll shuffle in a minute. Um, and uh, we'll put some Lenormand on the table. And then we will do an Oracle message to finish off. So let's have a look at you and your person's feelings and the relationship itself. Let's see where things are going. Good luck, pile number three. All right, we have the Queen of Cups in reverse, we have the World in reverse, and we have the Three of Wands in reverse. Um, I don't really want to read things in reverse. All I think with reverse is that you're not quite ready whenever I see things like that. So if we take this to be you, now remember this is a general reading, it's not going to suit everybody. Um, but also remember that when I say that this is you and this is them, it could be reversed what I'm picking up on it as well. And this would be the relationship. Then we're going to look at this as the past, present and future. Um, and then we'll get some more clarification. So to start off with, Queen of Cups, the love offer, the stability, the mother, the friend, the, the good hearted woman. Uh, she's up on her head. Maybe you haven't been feeling too good at the moment. Maybe your person hasn't been feeling too good. I'd have to say it's an emotional matter, not a physical matter. It could be a physical matter, but I'm thinking this is an emotional matter. Um, it's almost like her cup's falling out. Her, her emotions are falling out at the moment. Now, bear in mind that's the past as well. Um, for them, the world... The world is the last tarot deck. It's where you want to start something new. So they want to start something new. They want to step off the cliff. They want to get going. They want everything to be right again. Now we do have the tiger's head. I don't know if you can see that on the card. There's a tiger's head watching everything. That's like protection. Um, there's also a big butterfly transformation. Everything changing down here. Um, we've got a fish and dolphins and all sorts of things on this card but this person's they're ready to go but because as I said it's reversed I'm feeling like something's not fixed yet something needs to be talked about to be mended um, or maybe it's financial maybe you want to move house together maybe you want to move in together maybe you want to um, go overseas together or something and it's a financial thing and you just can't go yet but I just feel there's a hesitation here either on your part or theirs and you will go on a journey now I don't like when I look at relationships and a three comes up because threes to me can be there's interference it, from a parent from um, a best friend from an ex um, it can represent third party uh, it can even be a child um, but yeah, this is where the relationship showing that there's a friendship there. There's something to build on and they choose one of the three. So you or your person is choosing right now and ready to go on this journey. So eventually this is the future. You will go on the journey. Who with? Don't know because we have a choice between people here. I think all the readings I've done today have this third party type thing coming out. So let's just have a look, get some more information from my trusted poker deck. We'll turn some upside down. Okay, here we go. Past or you is, yep, third party. There's been some sort of interference from somebody else. Um, it looks like it's done and dusted because it's all black. 
someone needed to learn a lesson from the past there's something from the past sitting here um, some sort of jealousy is there as well not necessarily it's not raging jealousy it's just sort of like disbelief I'm feeling disbelief here in the past it could have been a sexual thing it could have been a, an interlude it could have been a mistake um, someone needed to learn a lesson here and yeah I just feel like whatever this was it's not anymore because it's black and that's probably why she's up on her head and all emotional that there was something that happened here and it's it's because this is like three of swords and three of wands so threes are on the table three threes are on the table now it may have happened three years ago three months ago it may have happened in March um, three means something or March means something and three six nine may all mean something it may be a date it may be someone's birthday um, yeah there's some sort of information coming through there now for your person or for the current situation we have your person is declaring love they feel that you are their soulmate they feel that um, they're looking back over the past they're looking at this hurt over here they want their wishes to come true and they're admitting mistake this is where someone made a mistake someone was irresponsible with their actions it could have simply been words as well not necessarily like an interlude with someone it could have been I feel like there's interference from somebody um, friends friends may be saying the wrong thing friends it's almost like your person looking at you doesn't like the people you talk to or hang around or you're looking at them and you don't like who they hang around something like that um, they're wanting good things this is a soulmate card for a relationship that's one of the best ones the wish card and the soulmate card is really good so our future and our relationship commitment solidarity it's going to be slow this is slow it's going to grow and grow and grow it's very successful um, I'm not seeing two people together though apart from this soulmate card and the two jacks usually represents a bucks night a hen's night it's a celebration that two people are getting married or two people are cementing the deal and because we've got an engagement ring here I'd have to say this is a new start if you're already in a committed relationship with someone it does look like you've had a bit of a, a hard time in the past um, but it just looks like it's all turning around now and being that you are the one watching these this this reading um, I'd have to say that your wishes are being fulfilled and you're finally getting some sort of stability here uh, this normally represents the engagement ring going on the finger so and then there's some sort of trip together and now it could be a mental trip where you go on an emotional journey with each other it could be an actual journey in a car a boat a plane um, nice this is nice this is if you look at the cards on the table they go from darkness to red you know they go from black to red so this is where everything's getting nice um, again so nice reading for pile number three let's just get some Lenormand to get a bit more information on the table okay okay so for you or the past yet yeah, time this whole thing needs time it's just patience and time and trying to heal I feel like there's a healing going on now this in the tarot is the four of wands so I feel that for some of you this might be a marriage situation or a long-term commitment situation but yeah time and effort needs to be in play here for them or the current situation news coming in now I'd have to say it's nice news it makes you happy um, because we have that wish fulfillment and the soulmate card something that just makes everything feel right now at the bottom of this card is the seven of diamonds now the seven of diamonds is in the Pentacles it's watching something grow in my cards the poker deck how I see sevens is about movement and change um, when it's red it's a change that you worked on it's something that you've been working on something that you want when it's a black uh, black seven it's where it's a force change so it's really good to see a seven of diamonds at the bottom of that card um, all the suits are on this card so that could mean that there's people involved that are from all different sort of cultures or something like that 
all different star signs. And again, double whammy, we have seven of diamonds on the bottom of this card as well. So there's lots of change going on within the dynamics of this relationship. You could be moving house. You could be selling up and moving house. Um, for some of you, this might be the ending of something painful and someone new comes into your life and you're going on a new journey, but you're very, very wise. We've got the owls here. So this is being very, very wise with your choices. For some of you that are single, this is showing going from single to being um, together with someone and I didn't even notice they've both got 12 on them so this is going from single to being together with someone and they're threes as well so threes is very prominent ones and twos is very prominent in this reading really nice reading this one it's going on a good journey so just an oracle message to finish off pile number three and if you are new here, as I said in the beginning, please subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. And I always appreciate comments. Um, so let's uh, have a look. Wisdom. You've got the owls being wise and learning from past. And you've got the wisdom here. And you've got the owl on the shoulder. So maybe you're seeing owls. Maybe you're going out and about or on television or in the shops and you see owls and you're thinking, why? Why am I seeing the owls? You do have the love here the the rose that represents love and beauty um you've got the sun coming up so it's sort of like whatever has happened it looks like you've been healing for some time it's turning around for the better it's, it's a beautiful reading it's uh really really nice where you're going with all of this you will make the right choice and or they will and there is commitment solidarity there is journeys to be had wise choices being made newness all happening and then being wise about your decisions or them being wise um yeah the the jack of hearts the other thing i can say is that can be a child and it can be a childlike energy and sometimes it comes up for an adult meaning grow up you know like they need to grow up um it looks like they will grow up we've got two wisdom cards on the table so anyway good luck with everything and i hope that helped and i will catch you on the next round